right, so for hole number seven, we're just gonna play this a little on the safe side. This is a little layup that we're gonna do. We're gonna kind of move our ball guide over just a hair to kind of line up uh, where the green ring is on the rough line there. Then we're gonna make our adjustment at 0% max, which is like one ring, two rings, somewhere around there. I think this was 2.1 that I did. Then we're gonna take our shot. And if you notice, I added a little bit of curl here, literally just a few ticks over the teeth, just to make Perfect sure shot. I stayed clear of the rough line on the right side of the fairway. which wasn't even an issue, but just to be safe. 350 yards, let's go. Alrighty, so we are going to play the rough bump and I wanna give a shout out to David Pendleton. He was the one that showed me this shot. We're gonna play this at minus 5% mid distance numbers and just line up with half of the yellow ring on the rough line there. And we're only putting just a little bit of backspin, about a half a tick back. Make our adjustment here, which this was exactly two rings. Hit perfect again. And perfect watch shot. the drop. All right, so for hole number eight, we're gonna come up here with a no moving target. We're gonna play this at 0% max numbers to up for our adjustment. We're gonna do one and a half to the left and four to the top and make our adjustment, which is 2.9 rings. This is one that you definitely need to make sure you hit perfect for. You wanna line up right around 341 for our yards. We come in here, we got a nice bounce up. Good roll out right in the middle of that fairway. Good to go for the next shot. All right, so we come up here, we're looking for a rough bump which is gonna bounce off that second little rough spot across the island there. And this is a very hard shot because that rough is really awkward. I tried to dial in this shot so many times. I spent about an hour on it. David dropped this shot and I was like, why can't I seem to get it? Finally, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna play it, call it a day, move on. You wanna aim just a dash to the right-hand side of the cup there. Make your pull at 0% mid. And then hit perfect. Which I Great obviously shot. don't. I'm up here, nice, good bounce, and I'm just off. Perfect would have been in. Nice so frustrating. Let me know if you get that one. Alrighty, so for hole number nine, unfortunately we don't get any good wind here. So we're just gonna have to do a layup shot here and go for the safe eagle. So we're just gonna go down to max club, six top, two to the right, yellow ring by the rough line. I'm kind of pulling back just a little bit just to make sure I don't go too far. I'm gonna make my adjustment at 0%. I am gonna add a little curl onto my shot here because I wanna get around that tree right there and I don't wanna go too far down the fairway. So I'm still in sniper range. So we're gonna add about 80% ball curl there. Hit perfect as always. Perfect shot. Thank you for the obvious PB. 
Let it roll out. Good little rough bounce. And now we are set up for our next shot with a big tree right in our way. All right, final shot, and we have this giant tree in front of us. I'm gonna name that tree Ted. I've been known to hit Ted many times. Taft will tell you that all too well, that I love hitting that tree, but I missed it today. We're just gonna do a little layup. I'm not really going for the pin, but if I get it, even better. Um, go ahead, add your curl here. I mean, add your spin. I'm doing two and a half back, two to the left. And I'm trying to be about four squares over, which means I'm gonna do a little bit of a curl. I'm only gonna do like a 10 or 15% curl to make up for that difference to get around Ted. See a little curl, just a little bit over. Hit perfect. Perfect shot. And we might get close here, let's see. Oh, a little, little less back, but that would have been nice. Nice yep. All right, guys, let me know how you do in your rounds. Good luck. I will see you on Saturday.